what happens and what should happen even for folks who aren't on hospice, in particular if they're elderly, is that we review their medications, that we look at them and say, what are they for? Do we still need them? Um, are they providing benefit or not? And make a decision on whether to keep or stop a medication based on that. Uh, some of the medications that are often stopped when a patient admits to a hospice care service are medications that are for prevention of diseases that are years down the road. So if we think uh, that a patient is appropriate for hospice and we've evaluated and, and we feel that their life expectancy is in that thick six to 12 month range, then it doesn't make sense for us to use medications that are gonna benefit them five years down the road. 